Whatever they've got in the water in Belgium, it seems to be doing wonders for the football team. This country of 11 million people is known more for Tintin than for trophies, but after going unbeaten through qualifying and rising from 53rd in the world to 5th, the team led by Manchester City captain Vincent Company is suddenly being seen as a contender in Brazil. You know, will it happen? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And I'm, I, I'm, I want to stay humble about it and saying that um, there are teams who probably are as good as us, but I think that, um, you know, we, we, we believe. We've got this thing where we, we do believe, we do hope. Belgium kick off their World Cup campaign against Algeria with coach Marc Vilmots able to call on stars like Eden Azar, Marin Fellaini and Thibaut Courtois. Their development though began 14 years ago with defeat to Turkey at the King Boudewijn National Stadium in Brussels, making Belgium the first host nation to exit a European Championships in the first round. It prompted technical director Michel Sablon to overhaul the system from under sevens football all the way to the top. It was the start of uh, analysing the, the whole uh, elements of uh, the Belgian football. Uh, the result was there were more good players. But, but it's a coincidence that the, the generation, this talented generation, comes together in order to make uh, results. And they qualified, they, they didn't lose it one game. 80 kilometres east of the capital, another source of the national team's success. Money, or rather, the lack of it. Now, in terms of market value, Belgium have one of the most expensive squads at the World Cup, and some of that is down to clubs like this. KRC Genk. It's an example of how the relative poverty of the Belgian Pro League is directly linked to the success of the national team. Clubs like Genk can only survive if they raise top talent to sell abroad. Youth director Roland Brugelmans has seen a string of names move on, financing a production line that ends up in national team colours. Without our youth programme, we have nothing. It's the young players who give us money to grow our club. Talent is the most important thing for us. Find the talent in Belgium, work with them and hope that we're successful with some of them. With the 1986 semi-finals their best World Cup performance to date, this could be the time for the team to go where no Belgian has gone before. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Genk.